Hey, hey, Blue Table fans, bet you weren't expecting that. So today we got a package in, oh, we got multiple packages just for you. Uh, one is from uh, MicroArt Studio, but that's not who we're talking about today. We're talking about Custom Meeple, and that's C-U-S-T-O-M-E-E-P-L-E. -E -E. So they kind of, they custom meeple, because meeples are what they make, which is little outlines of people, basically. I don't know what the story is. All I know is they make a lot of stuff. So here's what we got from them. Uh, we're going to take a look. So it's, uh, it's pretty uh, basic, but gets the job done packaging here. Oh, and that's how you spell it right there. Custom meeple. Enjoy your board game. Okay, so first off, they made us some Infinity compatible uh, templates with our logo on them. Isn't that nice of them? It's awesome. I love it. So here's that. Oh, and it has my name Gately on it. Okay, whose idea was that? That was mine. Okay, thanks, Josh. You're welcome. Okay, so uh, by the way, this is the raw stuff. This is going to my guys, and then we're going to do another video or multiple videos of when it's done. So this is some kind of building. That's I'm a dice tower, it. actually. Oh, it's a dice tower? Yep. An infinity dice tower. Correct. Ah, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> okay, so, um, oh, by the way, I'm here with Josh, who is handling all of our uh, infinity type promo connection stuff. So anyway, uh, now, so I love these. These are camo markers. So in the game, sometimes you gotta, t you gotta take your model off because he's invisible, right? Mm -hmm. This is like the ghost in the shell invisibility stuff. That is you correct. Know? And then yeah. you see on anime. Exactly. In fact, um, whatever it is, Infinity is very anime inspired. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's definitely not the uh, dystopian future genre. So you get these bases. And you get these guys that actually have kind of appropriate outlines, and they're, oh, and they're numbered too. That's kind of cool. A well, one that, two. that one is numbered because it's actually a hologram projected really? uh, image. The other ones are not numbered because they're TO, thermal optical camouflage. Uh, oh, markers. that's cool. So anyway, they're the same size as the miniatures, so you can actually do line of sight mm -hmm. on them. So that's, mm -hmm. that's how that works. All right, let's keep going. Uh, what is this, Josh? 3D blast marker. Oh, that's cool. Okay, we're opening this up right now. This is happening. <laughs> okay, here we go. Da, 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 da. Okay. Yeah, there okay, we go. Okay, great. You just stick it in there. Oh, yeah, it sticks really nicely, too. Okay, great. That's kind of cool. So this shows how high the blast is, Yes, too. exactly. Okay, and you know, Infinity is almost like a little role-playing game. Mm-hmm. You know, mm -hmm. like it's so detailed. Guys climb, they make skill checks, they have all this stuff. So that's pretty cool. Go custom meeple. Okay, these are, I do believe, futuristic signs. Yeah. So you put them together, you paint them, and then you stick this uh, plastic stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, good. And um, I have no idea. Is this more of the same? Is this just like little counters and markers and terrain? Those, and those stuff could like that? be their, their consoles, their uh, little antenna. Um, okay, and now yeah. is that something that does something in the game? Or objective is it just markers. Terrain? They're, they're, they're objective objectives, markers. exactly. Okay, great. So what I like about this is it's so simple. You know, mm -hmm. so uh, another one of those camo dealios. Yep. Probably for another faction. Correct. Maybe. Okay. Yep. And then uh, this is another one of the same thing. Mm -hmm. Probably for another faction. All right. Yeah. Uh, I have no idea what this those is. Those are their markers. You should definitely open that one up. Okay. Um, great. Let's, uh, let's pour it out. Okay. Here. What's What's cool about custom meeple markers, unlike uh, the rest of Corvus Belly partners is that uh, they're not just little round uh, markers you put on there. These guys, you have these ones that actually fit around the base of the model. So you can, oh, you can so fit cool. it. Yeah. Spencer, can you scare me up an Infinity model? Do we have anything over there that would work? All right. So we're going to, oh, yeah. prone, wound. Yeah. Oh, so they're like, they're markers, but they actually go up against your exactly. They go they go up against the base, and uh, and so you can keep out track of how many ammo. wounds if it's out of ammo. If it's Wait, prone. do you track your ammo in this it, game for can some for some weapons? For yes, some weapons. For you some do. weapons. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is it like a roll and then it runs out? No. So like for example, there's guys that have Panzerfaust. There are only two uses, and so you, oh, okay. once you use twice, you're out of ammo and cannot okay. shoot anymore. That's uh, that's pretty cool. All right, mm -hmm. so we've got somebody coming up with what's it. I think this is more consoles. Yeah, and stuff. more consoles. Yeah, yep. that's really Definitely. cool. So, another um, dice tower. Another dice tower. Yep. Okay, great. It looks so much like terrain. Well, yeah, I think okay. it, it looks a lot like terrain. Roberto right. was going to do a conversion for that. For, for those of you not familiar with the models, Infinity produces these anime-esque 
models. You play a game, it's a skirmish based game. It's played on a four foot by four foot table. Very dense terrain. Uh, there are, this game is so well supported by supplemental companies. And mm -hmm. I believe what Infinity's doing is actually going to become the model for how war games are going to be done in the future, which is you'll see a lot of cross coordination and a lot of cross uh, promotion. It's very hard to make up a, a tall tower uh, in the age of the internet. Uh, it kind of is all, it all tends to uh, even out. So you'll see, um, you'll see uh, more confederations uh, than anything. Okay, so, but this was about Meeple. This was about custom Meeple. Uh, we want to thank them for sending all this stuff. Uh, it's really amazing. Oh, okay, so here's a sample figure. So that's how they go. Oh, there's a wound. Okay. Yeah, took a wound. Is this. Then they uh, seem very specific. Is this like just arc of fire? Here? That is that is a, a arc, yes. So God, that is really cool. Yeah. Is it where the guy is? As you can tell, I don't play this game. Yes. But everybody else in the studio plays this game. <laughs> uh, yeah, unconscious. So a lot of really cool pieces. A lot of really cool pieces in yeah. here. So thanks to Custom Meeple. And uh, if there are other companies that would like a similar treatment from us, who have a really good wargamer centric audience. Uh, we definitely do swag for brag and uh, we'll be more than happy to review and show off and do something with uh, the product that you make. Hey Blue Table fans! Uh, just so you know, uh, this shirt was made out of Judy Garland's dress from The Wizard of Oz. So this is, uh, this is an original, kind of remade, to be modern, if you could call it that. So gingham, gingham is what I'm doing today. And uh, the other thing is I noticed, I noticed that I get a lot of looks from the ladies in this shirt. Are you, are you talking about Spencer? Do they make that for men <laughs> is probably what they're thinking. <laughs> okay, let's, let's go. In fact, let's, uh, let's start and stop.